Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial on my YouTube channel. How's it going everybody? What's going on? And yeah, today we build uh we build the tree fortress. <laughs> uh, a really cool build. I actually really like how it turned out. I'm actually recording this after I finished it so that I don't have to build two of these. I can only build one. Yes, that's what I did. So yeah, I went block for block with you guys. I skipped um like me building like the long parts like the the roofs and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys decorate it yourself. If you want to. It's pretty cool actually. It's actually really spacious, I guess. <laughs> you can do a lot of stuff. And you got like this cool lookout tower on the very top. That you can do if you want. I don't know. There's other tutorial houses over there and stuff. But uh yeah. I don't know what to call this. I think I'm just gonna call it the tree fort. The tree fort fortress or something. There's a lot of things you can do with this base actually. You can actually build like a horse stable or a fountain or something down here if you want. I don't know, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah, I'll see you at the end of the video. Goodbye. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is going to build the staircase. I already did it here. I'd say make it wrap around like three times. But you don't want to go too high because then you'll hit the, like the bushes up there. So I think this is a pretty good height. Just, uh, yeah, just whatever works for you. You might, have a, you might have taller trees, you might have shorter trees. I don't know, but this is what I like. But yeah, I'm s slowly building the platform now. What I do is just go, I go four blocks. I just kind of build it in a big square then I'll kind of fill in the middle once I'm done this. Alright next off is the brown glass you're gonna want to encase the staircase with so it's kind of easier to, to uh, run around and uh, I just think it looks cool but you guys don't have to do this if you don't want to it's just like an optional thing. You guys, some of you guys might think it looks cooler without it. I think it looks cooler with it. <laughs> just having like a glass staircase thing. And another reason I did this was just because, I don't know, it looked like it was floating there pretty much. So I, I didn't really like that, so that's why I put in just like a half thing of glass. Plus it looks pretty cool, I think. <laughs> this side's not filled with glass, obviously, but I still think it looks alright. But the next thing you want to do is just fill in the middle completely with all your half slabs. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, just uh, real quick, you gotta make sure that when you're placing these, placing these half slabs, it has to be on the top block. So, if, see if it's like on the bottom block. It'll float like that. So that means you messed up. And I'm sorry if you messed up. <laughs> but yeah, make sure it's not like that so then you can actually place stuff on top here without them floating and stuff like that. But the next step is to go two blocks out from the tree so one two and same on this side one two and then go one two one two one two one two one two and then you go ahead and place your fences and stuff uh let's go let's place them like this and this will be like our little balcony thing like that come to this side do two I need to do that on all four sides so once again two blocks out then you go two blocks out or two blocks out and then you go two blocks out this way <laughs> so one two and then you basically just fill in fill in the gaps I guess so like that and then you go ahead and you put your fences in Alright, so this one's gonna be a little bit weird, so what you do is go one, two, like pretty much do the same thing. Uh, but it's gonna be three blocks out on this side, so 
instead of going one two here you go one two one two and then you gotta bring it all the way out can't cover this by the way you're just gonna have to deal with it okay <laughs> you cover this one though and then you go like that uh, I'm pretty sure we can cover that one, but we gotta make it come out one more block. If you want it to be even, you can, but I'm not going to because I don't, I don't really care. Probably won't even be using this little area as much. <laughs> then, just like that. And yeah, that's all four sides finished and complete. So the next step is we're gonna build the little pillars here. So what I did was you just place an upside down stair what the heck my TV cut off that was weird that's why I stopped talking I thought I got cut off there <laughs> let me go one two three four one two three four and one two three four and then just above the stair you want to go like this just so it actually looks like it's not just floating there <laughs> and you do that on all three sides just like that so we'll do it again over here. Just go one, two, three, four. If you're playing on survival, it might be pretty hard. But yeah, it's worth it. It looks way better when it's when you have these little pillars here. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there you go. Looks better already. All right, so let's get ready to put in the side. So what we do is here we go. Just put in stairs like that on each side connecting these so then it's only a one block difference instead of like, having two blocks out you only have one block out now fill on each side and then grab some bushes oh forgot my wood oh where am I uh, I'm gonna use uh yeah I'll use spruce wood for this I guess I'm actually gonna remove actually no, we'll, we'll leave those but in the corners of each thing we're gonna go like this Instead, and we're gonna, oh, we're gonna cap it off, just like that. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I think it just looks better from uh, the bottom and stuff having these little things here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oops. So next off, let's add the bushes and stuff. What I did was just on top of this stair here, you just put a row of bushes all the way across. And then you just cap it off and you do that on all four sides. It's pretty easy. It's not that hard. hard. <laughs> just like that. And you cap it off. And it actually looks really, really cool from the bottom now. Now that we're getting closer to the, the uh, finished product. And one more quick fix here. You know how we went three side, three blocks out on this side? You can go, you can go ahead and come out three blocks on this side too just to even it out I wasn't going to like it's, it's not that big of a deal but I think I'm gonna do it now <laughs> so it's like that oh. and there that fixes your problem and then now you can have uh, probably the middle here that'll be the middle there uh, I think this is the middle here one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. So this one's kind of an odd number. So we have to go like that for it to be even. And that way you can know uh, where to place like the mini building in in the in the middle here. Can I go off that? All right. Next step. Uh, place your beams. <laughs> you can go floor by four four blocks high so where you want to place them is line up with that one line up with that one and right in the middle oh right in the middle just like that on all four sides oh messed up again right in the middle right in the middle right in the middle and then just go up uh, four blocks high with these four two three four just like that then you'll want to connect all four beams with a, like a beam of logs all the way across, just like I did. And then you can start working on like the entrance and stuff. So my entrance is going to be on this side. Doesn't really matter where you put yours. So I want a double wide door, just like that. And then I'll connect it, and then I'll put upside down stairs like this. And then I'll get my spruce wood planks. Run them all the way along the 
at the bottom. <laughs> the bottom. Just like that all the way across. And then we're going to put in the windows most likely. Before we do that, we'll connect all these together. Oh, forgot one side. Just like this. And then you gotta leave a space for the other beams. So I'm just gonna make another beams just like right here. Just like that, and that's how it should look for the beginning parts. And then what you do is you go on the outside of the building and go upside down stairs all the way along here. Oh. And upside down stairs. Got these beams <laughs> upside down stairs in each window, and then you can start going putting the glass in. I need planks first for that. You can use whatever color glass you want. I just thought brown looked the best. But yeah, let's go inside. I already started on the staircase, so you go. This will be the door, so you go one, two, three, four. In the fourth block, you do that. It'll be double wide, obviously, just like mine. And you go up, and then before you get to here, you just go in. Upside down stair, upside down stair. And then you put a normal stair, then you get your uh, half slabs. And then you just fill in the floor, basically. Just like that. And then you gotta watch out for this spot, too, because you gotta have room to actually walk up. So you can't put one here, but you can put one here like this. And one here like this also, and then you just fill in the rest of the floor with all your half slabs. I was gonna say planks for some reason, <laughs> but you do that. So the next thing you want to do is put in your little, uh, your little castle stuff. So you're gonna try what I want to match both sides together like that. And then you put spruce wood fence in between, then you just cap it off. I don't know why I always cap it off. I just think it looks cool. That's why I always do it. And then just every second, every 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 block pretty much, you put one. And it should work out pretty well. I know it's not completely centered, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. And take a step back. Doesn't look that Actually, it does look pretty cool from the bottom. Never mind. I'm a liar. <laughs> yeah, you go three blocks up from... Uh, from this beam so when you come up here it'll be like this and then you just go one two three like just like that and then we'll start putting in the the roof and stuff like that all right so i went ahead and finished one side of the roof already so i'll show you guys that looks pretty cool actually it doesn't look that bad but it'll look better once you're actually done the entire thing <laughs> so what you do is you grab some logs put them like this put them like that Upside down stair, upside down stair. And you could put a half slab here, but I'm not going to just because I think it looks a little bit better without it. And then you grab a uh, stairs, you put them on the top of this actually. And you just build it all the way across. And you connect all four just like I've done. And then go to each side of each corner, go like this with your logs, then go upside down stair, upside down stair. And then you go. Uh, Grab a half slab and you go all the way across again. Oops. Connecting these logs together. So like you have like just so you can still see out the window or out the little castle thing pretty much. <laughs> Same thing on this side, all the way across. And then you're pretty much done the middle. Okay, let's not do that. That looks terrible if we do that. Then we just fill in the middle. There we go, just like that. You fill it in with grass. Kind of looks like a like a traditional. I don't want to say because I might. I'm, I know I'm wrong. It's like Chinese or Asian. <laughs> Those kinds of houses. I don't know what they're called. I'm pretty sure they're Chinese. But you fill it in with grass, and then over here you just put in a railing for yourself so you don't fall over. Like that, and then in the middle you put. Two uh, logs you go all the way up, just like this. Cap it off. 
Grab your ladder. And that's how you'll get on the, like the grass roof place just like this. And you can cap this off if you want. Oh, not with logs. With uh, spruce wood. But uh, I'm not going to because I don't really, I don't really mind it. Doesn't look that bad having grass for a ceiling. <laughs> but yeah, let's go up here. You can go ahead and put the fence in now. All right, so this part's pretty hard. You gotta grow a big tree right here, but it's probably gonna take a lot of bone meal, and it's gonna be a lot of work. And you might have to destroy this, these two here, like I just did. You gotta make sure there's nothing grown around it, just like that. And yeah, let's go take a look. It's probably gonna look pretty funny. <laughs> oh yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And then the last step before we decorate is we gotta go all the way up once again. This is a, once again. This is an, another optional thing. I just like having a. Just, it's basically just gonna be like a big lookout on top. Uh, top your base pretty much just so you can see everything from every direction and yeah you just go all the way up <laughs> there you go once you get to the tops I would stop around like two blocks before you actually get to the top and you go at two blocks it's like this you could go with three but I'm just gonna go two. put a railing in even though it doesn't really matter <laughs> And then you put in your two ladders, just like this, and then kind of just dig your way up to the top of the tree. Just like this. Oh, come on. There we go. And then you can do whatever you want up here, pretty much. You can build a platform. I am going to build a platform, just like a little mini one. Just so we can act. Just so we actually have somewhere to stand when we're up here. Just like that. And then maybe I'll cap it off the fences. Oh. And then I'll half slab it just so we can actually just so we actually can see over the fence. And there you go, and I can see everywhere pretty much. You can see like the builds over there you can see the other tutorials <laughs> the other four house tutorials I uh, didn't save me and Jamie's build challenge stuff just because it was pretty messy but yeah let's go down let's take a look at this now and yeah it looks pretty cool I like it also you can have like a mini garden out here if you want but for now I'm just I don't really care I'm just gonna kind of place bone meal everywhere can I get make it look all grassy that yeah, looks good so next off we're gonna go back to the house we're gonna add some more details and kind of see what I did out here I did log log I did stair facing this way then I did half slab half slab stair facing this way log log and then same thing on the bottom stair 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 so like that's kind of run around here if you want <laughs> and then log log it just looks better this way that's why I'm doing it it is a little bit cramped but I think it's all right you go stare this way stare this way connect it it's like that and then log 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 and then you do upside down stairs, normal stairs, upside down, upside down, normal, normal, and you one this way, one that way, so it kind of gives that little arch feeling. So one this side, one, two, one, two, and yeah, see, it just makes it look way better, like a, there's actual actual detail in the house. Then I just went along and threw a whole bunch of bushes on the edges and stuff. So it's not so brown and plain. <laughs> just like this. And yeah, there you go. There's your treehouse fort. I think it's overall a really nice build. 
I don't know, it's just something about it, I like it. <laughs> I think it's just cool having like a cool treehouse fort tower lookout thing. And the last and final steps, you gotta put it in your door. And then I'll leave the rest up to you guys. You guys can decorate this place as however, however you want. But I will show you a quick little trick that I like to use. Ah, uh, where are they? Item frame and door. The reason I like doing this is just because it actually looks like um, a torch holding thing. So you put item frame down, then you put a wooden trap door, and then you put a torch. If you crouch, you, can, you can't put it in. See so like that. So you gotta get like the edge of the block. So it just makes it look cooler basically. So we're gonna do that all around the base here. Just like that. And then on the outside what I usually do, or what I did, I mean, I don't know, I keep saying usually is just put torches kinda symmetrically placed everywhere so that it's actually like lit up at night. So let's go ahead and do that. There. Oh. And there. We can take out these fences, actually. Let's go up top. Maybe we'll have two here. Just like that. I'll have one on this side. I don't like placing a whole bunch of torches just everywhere because then it looks really messy. So that's why I'm doing this. And we'll go up here, place a couple. And you might want to place torches um, on here and stuff. Cause I've had, a, I did get a couple creepers uh, on my survival world when I built uh, a treehouse just like this. I got a whole bunch of creepers spawning up here, so <laughs> pretty dangerous. And yeah, let's switch it to night. Oops. Let's go over here. Let's look at it from a little bit. A little bit of a distance and yeah that's the final product hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys have a good day and a good night uh, leave a like if you love me no, I'm just kidding <laughs> leave a like if you guys are gonna build this let me know if you're actually gonna do it it is a pretty big project for survival but I think it'll be worth it building something like this I would definitely do it I might actually do it on my advanced craft world maybe because it is really easy. All you need is uh, saplings. Because then obviously you can just grow these big trees and chop them down really easily. You can get like a ton of wood. And yeah. Oh. Before we leave I almost forgot. I almost forgot one last thing. Uh, where's stairs? Like this. <laughs> and then all the way across. And then there. You're done amazing but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys have a good day and a good night and i'll see you in the next tutorial goodbye